guys, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I thought I'd share with you a little tiny mini haul of goods that I got when I went to the Nintendo store in Kyoto. And we were really lucky this time when we went that it was open and there and so we got a chance to go. There were so many people, it was super popular. It was weird though because it was like really up like in a place you wouldn't think it would be, up on a very like top floor of a department store. So you kind of had to know where you were going from the beginning before you headed out. But uh, once you got over there, it was kind of way back in the back corner too. Uh, it was just like Nintendo paradise, it was very cool. So um, I of course am a huge fan of Animal Crossing or Dobutsu no Mori and so I was really excited to get to take a look at what they had and right away practically when I came through the front door the first thing I saw was these cute little erasers that you could get and you kind of put them into this little bottle and you pay gosh I can't remember like 700 yen I think for this and you know I can kind of show you guys I don't know if I can get them all out, but there's, you know, there's a few, there's a few characters there, uh, obviously, and, uh, like, Blathers and stuff, and also, uh, KK Sliders in there, and then some of the, you know, classic imagery from the game, like the leaf, the thing for the fossils, uh, there's, like, a money bag and regular leaf in there, too. Uh, so there are lots of fun stuff that you could have to kind of celebrate Animal Crossing. And the cool thing was they had other games too. So any of the other, you know, some of the more popular Nintendo games, they had a whole bunch of these things like Splatoon, I noticed, and some other ones as well. So definitely a fun thing to get um, if if you like this kind of thing. It's, it's just cute, you know. It's kind of, I mean, these are erasers, but I don't know why you'd ever use them for anything, but very cute kind of idea. And then when I got further in, I found I wanted a new pencil. So I found this really cute one that was there. They do have a lot of designs that are only exclusive to the store. You can't buy them anywhere else. So uh, if you do get a chance to go there, I would recommend it. But that is really adorable. I love her so much. So I'm really excited to get that. And I just happened that my pen was dying. So I was really glad to get one pencil I should say this is a mechanical pencil so I got that and then I also did a couple of lucky chance things and they have these keychains that are in this style which is one of those styles that's just exclusive to the Nintendo store and I actually did it twice I got her and I get this sweetie and these are really nice they're nice big thick really well made very cute little guys so I think the coochie, oh gosh, I can't remember. I've got the receipt here, Heather. Pay attention, tell people good information. The, um, yeah, come on, use your brain. I think the pencil was 400, the uh, erasers were 500 yen, and then these little lucky chance uh, guys were 700 yen each. So really not bad when you consider that a lot of the uh, Lucky Chance like Kuji that you do at the convenience stores are almost more than 700 yen now soon. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. Um, so I got I got both of those. I think there's like eight different characters that were available in this series. But yeah, very adorable. I would highly recommend it. And then Audrey and I both got one of these other like Lucky Chance card things that has like a, a gummy candy inside. And the two cards that we got were her and her. And the card's really cute because on the back it has like some information about her, her birthday, uh, all those kinds of things. And the card itself is really nice and thick. So it's a really nice collector's item. And these were only 60 yen each. So really nice, easy, fun thing to get if you want to pick up a bunch of them. And then the cool thing was that when I left, uh, when I was paying, you kind of randomly just show up at one of the registers. And when she just, they pull from the different bags that they have, they have different characters on the bags. Um, obviously they have stuff that's like Pikumin or uh, Splatoon and they also had Animal Crossing and I just got lucky and that was the first one I got 
And the lady who rung me up, I was like, sweet. She's like, you really like Animal Crossing, don't you? Because she could tell because everything I was buying was Animal Crossing. I was like, yes, I do. So she kindly gave me two extra bags. Uh, she didn't have to do that. That was very nice of her. And then the other thing that was kind of fun is that the back of the receipt randomly has icon, uh, icon, uh, icon I can't speak, say the word, icons like from the different games. And it just happened that I was super lucky and I got the one that has Animal Crossing. So that was cool. Yeah, very neat. So we had like a really epic time there. And they did have, you know, a lot of really cool stuff. And I just could have like lost all my money there if I had just bought everything I saw that I liked. Um, they have a whole series of things for Animal Crossing that are like homeware like items, you know, like pots and pans, canisters for sugar, a little coffee grinder that has Brewster on it. I, oh, but that was like 8,000 yen and uh, way, way too much money. So, <laughs> but if you go and you're ready and prepared and you know, you're like, okay, I'm going to go here and I'm going to get lots of really cool stuff. Definitely bring lots of money because you'll want it. So uh, that's a little brief haul of goods that I got when I went to the uh, Nintendo store in Kyoto. Um, I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. Take care and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.